here. There we are. We're all set to go, I think. And let's push. Oh. Here's. Can you turn the volume up? Yeah, it's not on yet. Hold on one second. Oh. Okay. I've got. What I got going on here? All right, here we go. You ready? Ready. Piece of pearl I'm gonna make. I cut it on the bandsaw, and then I kind of shave off the edges, edges here to make it a little more round, a little easier to turn. And what I need to do with this is just get it started round. The main thing is the getting rid of this part here, and then drilling a hole in there for the man to go into. All right, small rubbing gouge. Just get this thing round. Then we'll. And then we'll turn a flat spot in the middle for the drill to go into. And we'll start getting the general shape of it going. With your filling cuts here, you'll see it. Motion detected at the front door. And we'll see how we did there. We got that down pretty far. We still don't need that there, so I'm just going to try to get rid of it. We're going to put the pull a little tighter. There we go. We're going to come back in here, flatten this out a little bit more, get a drill bit. So it's a forcer bit. You want to go, go into a flat area anyway, so it doesn't want. Right. We'll just need to fill that section out. And we just want to go in just a, just slightly, maybe a quarter of an inch. This is the part where the roof or the bottom will sit inside the roof here. So you want to make a little bit of a ledge there. We're going to do like three different cuts here, just three different drill bits. This will get rid of a lot of the inside of this here. Leave it up in there, not quite cutting. Mm, yeah, a little bit faster than that, about 400, 500. And we're just going to take it in nice and slow and easy. Hold it on to the shock as we go. You want to drill it. 
enough to where there's about a quarter of an inch of solid wood. I'm just going to back it up. And we'll have a look and see how much. We'll miss a tad deeper. Not much, but just a little bit. All right. What you can see there, it's got a. I got the thinnest part here is about a quarter of an inch deep. It's going to be deeper in area, other areas, but you want at least a solid wood about a quarter of an inch. That way, it has a place for that roof to fit down inside there. We will change this truck out or this little bit out. A lot of back and forth with the drills on this one. This is for the rest of the roof to rest in there because we're going to put a ridge on the body to tuck it right back up into the the roof. Just the same thing, just a little about a quarter of an inch in. And then we're going to do one more hole, and that's going to be for the mandrel and to help lighten up the at the front door. Hanging on a tree. That's so going to be a three quarter inch bit. This is a Brad point bit instead of a Forstner bit. I don't have a three quarter inch Forstner bit. So I, like, I have love my Brad point bits here. I'm just going to go in a little ways and grab the mandrel and see the mandrel and make sure it's going to seat down in there. All the way. So, top over here. We got a little ways to go yet. Not much. One thing about this one, though, is it's not going to be a pointed roof. It's going to be a mushroom shape. So, we can go kind of deep with the hole on this one without worrying about it. So, you're not going to run into it while you're cutting the wood. You just want this to slide in there nice and tight. Make sure. I want to make sure this little ledge right here is bottoming out on this little ledge right on the inside there. And make sure it's all seated up and not quite there. This is a really nice birdhouse. Make sure that bottoms out all the way in. It's pretty good. I have to use a paper towel on that mandrel there. I'd rather have the mandrel a little too loose and do that than have it try to cram it onto the lay onto the piece and you'll never get it off. So now we what we're gonna do is we're gonna start shaping the outside of it. We're gonna take this down a little bit, get that mushroom shape going, and then we're gonna reverse it on the mandrel and finish that part. And I'm looking for my large or my small bird. There we go. Rocky out gouge just to get this started, turn up the speed. Here we go. And I'm just gonna kind of bring it in from the, the tips there. So I'm just getting this shape down a little bit, and then I'm going to reverse it on the mandrel and finish it off. We got all that wood there to play with. I do want to get the general shape going here while I can. It's held on in the chuck. Much safer. I don't worry about that mandrel getting in. Now loosening up or anything. Let me have a look. See how are we doing? We want some spikes there. That's all right. That's what we want. Don't grab me, but I'm going to be using for the body. It's this little guy right here. So we're taking this guy down to fit in here. 
This is some really nice figure maple. It'll match the, it goes really good with pearl on the top. So I saw this cup back. Okay, so I need to work on that point right there. There's still a little bit of saw cut from the bandsaw there. You need to take a little bit of this down. Nice, gentle. It's good to stop and look and check the things like that. Still there. Doesn't go away here. That's a standard. A little further in than the others. So that's why it's showing up. All right, it's done. So we can just adjust the shape again here. Around this over a little bit better. I picked up my spindle gouge here in a minute. You bring all this up. I see some tool marks forming there, so I do need to use my spindle gouge. So I don't want to take too much more off of there. Spindle gouge, here you go. So this will help form it a little bit better. You can just caught another glimpse of Stalin's curve there. That's not bad. A little hand sanding will get rid of that. So you got to be really careful because some of these are starting to get a little delicate there. So I want to kind of stay away from those spikes now. There we go. That should be ready for sanding there. Watch your fingers around those spikes there. I'm going to pad to my fingers. Now the body to this is pretty easy to make. It's not very complicated. You just drill one hole. Just let that flap over the little spikes there for a minute. That's much better. Come in here and just kind of clean up anything that you think might need a little extra standing. There's a little void right there. That's going to look neat. So before I part this off, I want to drill a hole for the for the little chimney. And we look, I use pull one out here. So I go outside and dig around in my yard. Uh, mm -hmm. This one will work. I use little sticks. They're kind of twisted like that. <laughs> I'll cut this little short. We'll put the short end in there. And we'll have a little chimney that comes out. We'll just slice it right there. And then cut a little bit off of there. And they come out pretty neat looking. And this stick will be the perch.
believe that's all the sticks I have, right? Yep. All right. I do believe it's time to turn this around.
spin a little roughing gouge here. We'll just start taking this down. I have my flute too close, so it's trying to skate back on me. I'm going to open it up more like 40, than 45 degrees. I want to still take as much of this down as I can while the tail stop is engaged. You just want a nice round top on this. Just keep taking some of this wood down. Get it down to practically where you want. It's not going to go anywhere if it pops loose. The wood comes apart. We're going to have to do that anyway. There we go. What we wanted. Let's clean that up a little bit. And we'll put an eye hook in that. I'm going to back off my tail center here. Right. Like it needs a little bit of a cleanup. So I'm just going to do a a couple of pull cuts with the wing of my ear. I notice some tool marks being left behind. And this is a point right here I want to get rid of. We'll keep. Just going to blend all that in. Have a look. Well, it feels good. It's going to look nice. We'll grab it at 120. I was just using a second ago. Or well, at 220, I mean. We'll finish sanding up the top here. Then we'll put the screw eye in it. A little bit of feathering where that hole is, so I'm trying to sand it off. Little bad spoon here. Yeah, little piece right there. There we go. That looks pretty good. So just so you guys can see what this looks like, I'm gonna drill that hole first, and I'm gonna put some oil on it just so you guys can see this green pop. This it is really pretty. A little bit of my parting tool, just put a little divot in there. Then I'll oil it up and then we'll put the screw eye in it. Make it deep enough for the screw eye to sit down inside there a little bit. I'll grab my bottle of oil heat, paper towels. Back this off. I don't mind getting this kind of oil on my bedways if it happens, because it just lubricates it, doesn't really harm it at all. It's a walnut oil finish made just specifically for using finishing on wood. You're going to see that really pop up. A little more oil. We got most of it, and we'll we'll add some more when we get this turned around and on the on the foot there or on the body. So we need to get a get a little bit of a brush, get an acid brush here with some oil. That little void there will look better. There go. Any raw wood showing up. I'm going to come around the spikes a little bit here. The same thing. A 
It's easier to do all this while it's on the lathe. All right, we've got it. One more wipe, just get rid of any excess. A little coat there, turn the towel over, wipe off the excess. And I'll probably add a few more coats to this later on, I'm sure it's put together. And put it on a on a clean buffing wheel just to buff it up without any wax or anything. This oil will buff up without all that. All right, so I'll come back and I'll add oil to the inside here. We do have a really nice pop to our mushroom birdhouse. Came out really nice. I'm pretty stoked about that. So let's get this rounded down and we'll drill a hole in the center. Almost there, I can hear the sound. You can tell by the sound of the wood and the cut, it's just almost round, feels like it is. All right. Oh, yeah, there's some really pretty grain in this one, too. A lot of fiddleback kind of chatoyancy in there. So I'm going to clean up the face using my parting tool. It's a cut from the outside in. So I can change cameras for that. There, point of the party tool of the drill bit. Now, what we need to do is get the roof, the we'll veneer calipers, and set them down. And are. So, I want to measure the inside of this hole right here. So, we need to make a ridge right here for. Sort of like a tenon where that's a rest in, inside there. There we go. So that's what we need to do now is just cut a tenon right there. Parting tool, got my veneer calipers handy. Just hold it up there just to get an idea how far I need to go. All right, not too much. Then we'll kind of do a dry run fit on it. Let's take a little bit off and then check. And we still got plenty of room to work with if you go too small. Well, we're turning off the lathe and having a look. I'm just trying to do it by eye. Okay, so it's barely going on there. Got some more. Put this on the party tool. Put that pen in a flat. So, there we go. This slips right on there. Just gonna double check the measurement I took inside the roof. All right, so I'm gonna grab the roof and I have to adjust that when we get down there a little ways, but we wanna drill it out first. So I need my 5 8 drill bit and the chuck. Boy, I really need to oil this thing. All right. These kind of tools out of the way. Well, my five eighths drill bit again. That's not it. 
Let me just go with five eighths. All right. Just type that down. Put this grill truck out of here because I don't need it anymore and I don't want my elbows to run into anything sharp. So grab my mandrel here. Pop that on there. Yep. I'm just going to need paper towels as usual. And it does want them out nice. Perfect. And that's probably going to need two, I would think. A little looser than I thought it was going to be. Two paper towels. See how it was in there. There we go. That's good. Now I'll just turn and pull this off the lay out of the chuck here. Turn it around. All right. So we'll take this part down, and then we'll drill holes for the entrance hole and for the perch. So I'm going to grab my large spindle gouge here. Bring up my tail stock. Add a support. Go. Turn up the wave. This should be. A little more on my tail stop stretcher. All right. A lighter cut so it won't spin on me. Yeah, we'll turn this thing down, don't I? Wow. Just kind of loose and loose, huh? It'll get better once I get all that scare out of there. It won't spin as much. Get the whole thing round. There we go. All right, so we need to check. We need to cut that ridge. Did I cut that ridge already? I can't remember. So I'll just measure that real quick. I don't remember if I did. I turned it over before I should have. All right. So I need my party tool just to cut that down. I meant to do it when it's facing the other direction. Bit to go, not much. It's like it's just about there. Almost cuts and it should be fine. I just wanted a little smaller than what the calipers are showing. So the groove has a place to go and expand. So we will expand with the groove. You don't need it to be a really, really tight fit because then you'll just end up squeezing all the glue out of the joint. Um, almost down to the size of that hole. Don't want to go much dirt more than that. 
Yeah. Almost. A little bit more play with there, not much. Slide on there. It's always just that last cut, isn't it? There we go. That's right. There we go. All right. Now we can start shaping it. I'm going to grab me my large. Spindle gouge here and start shaping it. So I want what I want is a wide bottom on this. And then thin it down towards the middle here. Try to take gentle cuts because it's gonna spin on the mandrel apparently. I have to add another paper towel to it, maybe. See how it behaves. And when we're getting close, we'll drill a hole for the, the little bird to get in and out, place for the perch. So well, let's do the drilling. Then we'll do the peanut cuts. All right. I do believe this is the right drill for the entrance hole already in my field here. Making sure. We'll hold it up to my diagram here just to see. Yep. All right. Same thing. We want it a little bit lower because of the overhang on the roof on the roof there. So we want to just find a pretty spot. Yeah, this looks pretty good. We're just gonna go a hole right here. Let's see. And you'll feel it when it goes all the way through. There we go. And then smaller, a little bit of the perch. My perch would try to do the right size here. My perch wood. Give me one second here. There's some right there. Can you use the perch? All right. Now I'll see if this larger drill is the right size. Yep. All right. So we need to use the same size a little bit for the perch. Because I'm using a, a branch like this for the perch. It'll come out. Right there. So I might get another bigger drill bit, see if I can drill out that smaller hole there. And it's a little bit bigger for the entrance. Well. See if I got a slightly bigger drill bit here. We got a whole bunch of drill bits, so I don't think they have a problem with getting a little bit bigger. Huh. That would be. Um, 
let's go with that one. Step it. Just hold it steady. Drill it out. And it's going to wander on me. And then, well, we're just going to have to leave it. It'll be all right. I don't want to mess up the hole that's already there. So, all right. So, I'm just going to start cleaning this up a little bit better here, get the shape down. And we just need to curve it in just a little bit for where it goes into the roof, right there. And just a nice, just off the wing cut. It hit the hole and that's what made it stop spinning. Hit that hole again. Then we can just come back and kind of clean up those rough edges. And get rid of this little notch at the bottom. And we also, I like to make it just a slight cove on the bottom here, just in case you want to stand it up on a table. That way it doesn't rock around. This is the wing for a draw cut to clean that up. Make that a little bit rounder on the bottom. Clean up this B, make it a little bit more rounded. high spot right there make that curve come in a little more gentle nice light feathery cuts it's a little high right there i'm looking at the horizon of the piece just to make sure there's no big bumps or grooves left in the wood All right, that looks pretty good. Now slide right up into the, the mushroom there. I'm just going to take it, shave that off just a little bit. So it's a little more deeper than I need. I want to make sure it doesn't bottom out before it goes all the way in. So I'm going to grab my party tool. Put some of this part away. It is down to the size of the mandrel there. There we go. I think I've got it. Looks like it. All right, that looks good. I'm going to tighten, take this, back this off a little bit. So I need, I need to get rid of that little notch right on the bottom there. My blues. I don't know if you guys could solve that. All right. Still gouge. Look at that little hole that the tail center put in there. All right, time to hit it for sandpaper. So it's, yeah, it's 220. So without any little marks, like Left behind. There's some two marks right here. That are a little, oh, no, those are just the defects in the wood and the, and the bump there. So it's a little more sanding right there. It's hand sanding, we'll get rid of that. 
Same with the green. Right. You want to stand on the bottom here? Go grab a 320. Yeah, let's finish it off. Then we'll put some oil on this one too. There it goes. Piece of paper towel and some oil. Really pop the grain as you can see there. Real pretty. Real pretty stuff. I sell a lot of birdhouses and craft shows this time of year. People flock to them. Pardon the pun. They just they always come to my booths wanting to see what kind of new birdhouses I've come up with. Should I make the body a little shorter than this? But at the same time, let's turn that that way. And we'll have a, that chimney coming out of it. White oil on the room. And stick that stick in there. Just get an idea what the chimney will look like. I haven't cut it yet, but let's see an idea. And you can turn the, you know, turn the, the top to where you think you like it. But this would be shorter here. Pretty neat. Nice job, Scott. Yeah, Thank you very much. That's pretty cool. Scott, Scott. I like these, that. These these don't hang, right? They, 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 they sit on a cool. table or they sit on a table or something. Yeah. Okay. Nice job, Scott. Good job, Scott. Thanks, thanks a lot Thank for you, sharing. Scott.